September 21, the people occupy Jerusalem. The leaders of the people were living in Jerusalem, the holy city. A tenth of the people from the other towns of Judah and Benjamin were chosen by sacred lots to live there too, while the rest stayed where they were. And the people commended everyone who volunteered to resettle in Jerusalem. Here is a list of the names of the provincial officials who came to live in Jerusalem. Most of the people, priests, Levites, temple servants, and descendants of Solomon's servants, continued to live in their own homes in the various towns of Judah. But some of the people from Judah and Benjamin resettled in Jerusalem. From the tribe of Judah, Athiah, son of Uzziah, son of Zechariah, son of Amariah, son of Shephatiah, son of Mahalalel, of the family of Perez. Also Maaseah, son of Barak, son of Kolhoza, son of Hezea, son of Adea, son of Joyrib, son of Zechariah, of the family of Shelah. There were 468 descendants of Perez who lived in Jerusalem, all outstanding men. From the tribe of Benjamin, Salu, son of Meshulam, son of Joed, son of Padea, son of Kolea, son of Maaseah, son of Ithiel, son of Jeshea. After him were Gabai and Salai, and a total of 928 relatives. Their chief officer was Joel, son of Zikri, who was assisted by Judah, son of Hasanua, second in command over the city. From the priests, Judea, son of Joyrib, Jachin, and Sirea, son of Hilkiah, son of Meshulam, son of Zadok, son of Mireath, son of Ahitub, the supervisor of the temple of God. Also 822 of their associates who worked at the temple. Also Adaiah, son of Jeroham, son of Peleliah, son of Amzai, son of Zechariah, son of Pashur, son of Melchijah, along with 242 of his associates, who were heads of their families. Also Amishai, son of Azarel, son of Azai, son of Meshillamoth, son of Immer, and 128 of his outstanding associates. Their chief officer was Zabdiel, son of Hagadolam. From the Levites, Shemaiah, son of Hashub, son of Azrakim, son of Hashabiah, son of Bunai. Also Shabbatai and Jazabad, who were in charge of the work outside the temple of God. Also Mataniah, son of Micah, son of Zabdi, a descendant of Asaph, who led in thanksgiving and prayer. Also Bakbakiah, who was Mataniah's assistant, and Abda, son of Shemua, son of Galal, son of Jeduthun. In all, there were 284 Levites in the holy city. From the gatekeepers, Akub, Talman, and 172 of their associates, who guarded the gates. The other priests, Levites, and the rest of the Israelites lived wherever their family inheritance was located in any of the towns of Judah. The temple servants, however, whose leaders were Ziha and Gishpah, all lived on the hill of Ophel. The chief officer of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzai, son of Bani, son of Hashabiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micah, a descendant of Asaph, whose family served as singers at God's temple. Their daily responsibilities were carried out according to the terms of a royal command. Pethahiah, son of Meshezabel, a descendant of Zerah, son of Judah, was the royal advisor in all matters of public administration. As for the surrounding villages with their open fields, some of the people of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba with its settlements, Debon with its settlements, and Jacabzeel with its villages. They also lived in Jeshua, Molida, Beth Pilat, Hazar Shul, Beersheba with its settlements, Ziklag, and Makana with its settlements. They also lived in Enrimen, Zora, Jarmuth, Zenoa, and Adullam with their surrounding villages. They also lived in Lachish with its nearby fields and Azekah with its surrounding villages. So the people of Judah were living all the way from Beersheba in the south to the valley of Hinnom. Some of the people of Benjamin lived at Geba, Michmash, Aja, and Bethel with its settlements. They also lived in Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazor, Ramah, Geteum, Hadid, Zeboam, Nabalat, Lod, Ono, and the Valley of Craftsmen. Some of the Levites who lived in Judah were sent to live with the tribe of Benjamin. A History of the Priests and Levites Here is the list of the priests and Levites who returned with Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Joshua the high priest. Sireah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Maluk, Hattush, Shechaniah, Haram, Merimoth, Ido, Ginnathan, Abijah, Minyamin, Moadiah, Bilgah, Shimea, Joyarib, 
Judea, Salu, Amok, Hilkiah, and Judea. These were the leaders of the priests and their associates in the days of Joshua. The Levites who returned with them were Joshua, Binuai, Cadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Mattaniah, who with his associates was in charge of the songs of thanksgiving. Their associates, Bakbukiah and Unai, stood opposite them during the service. Joshua the high priest was the father of Joachim. Joachim was the father of Eliashib. Eliashib was the father of Joiada. Joiada was the father of Johanan. Johanan was the father of Jadua. Now, when Joachim was high priest, the family leaders of the priests were as follows. Mareah was leader of the family of Sireah. Hananiah was leader of the family of Jeremiah. Meshulam was leader of the family of Ezra. Jehohanan was leader of the family of Amariah. Jonathan was leader of the family of Moloch. Joseph was leader of the family of Shechaniah. Adna was leader of the family of Haram. Helkai was leader of the family of Miramoth. Zechariah was leader of the family of Iddo. Meshulam was leader of the family of Ginnathon. Zikri was leader of the family of Abijah. There was also a leader of the family of Minyamin. Piltai was leader of the family of Moadiah. Shemua was leader of the family of Bilgah. Jehonathan was leader of the family of Shemaiah. Matani was leader of the family of Joyrib. Uzai was leader of the family of Judea. Kalei was leader of the family of Salu. Eber was leader of the family of Amok. Heshobiah was leader of the family of Hilkiah. Nethanel was leader of the family of Judea. A record of the Levite families was kept during the years when Eliashib, Joida, Johanan, and Jedua served as high priest. Another record of the priests was kept during the reign of Darius the Persian. A record of the heads of the Levite families was kept in the Book of History down to the days of Johanan, the grandson of Eliashib. These were the family leaders of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, Jeshua, Benuai, Cadmiel, and other associates who stood opposite them during the ceremonies of praise and thanksgiving, one section responding to the other as commanded by David, the man of God. This included Mataniah, Bakbukiah, and Obadiah. Meshulam, Talman, and Akab were the gatekeepers in charge of the storerooms at the gates. These all served in the days of Joachim, son of Jeshua, son of Jehozadak, and in the days of Nehemiah, the governor, and of Ezra, the priest and scribe. The Returning Exiles The people of Judah were exiled to Babylon because they were unfaithful to the Lord. The first of the exiles to return to their property in their former towns were priests, Levites, temple servants, and other Israelites. Some of the people from the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh came and settled in Jerusalem. One family that returned was that of Uthai, son of Amihud, son of Omri, son of Imri, son of Bani, a descendant of Perez, son of Judah. Others returned from the Shilonite clan, including Asaiah, the oldest, and his sons. From the Zerahite clan, Jewel returned with his relatives. In all, 690 families from the tribe of Judah returned. From the tribe of Benjamin came Salu, son of Meshulam, son of Hodaviah, son of Hashanua, Ibnia, son of Jeroham, Elah, son of Uzai, son of Mikri, and Meshulam, son of Shephatiah, son of Ruel, son of Ibnijah. These men were all leaders of clans, and they were listed in their genealogical records. In all, 956 families from the tribe of Benjamin returned. The Returning Priests Among the priests who returned were Judea, Jehoiarib, Jachin, Azariah, son of Hilkiah, son of Meshulam, son of Zadok, son of Mireoth, son of Ahitub. Azariah was the chief officer of the house of God. Other returning priests were Adea, son of Jeroham, son of Pasher, son of Milchijah, and Maaseah, son of Adiel, son of Jezurah, son of Meshulam, son of Meshilamoth, son of Immer. In all, 1,760 priests returned. They were heads of clans and very able men. They were responsible for ministering at the house of God. The Returning Levites the Levites who returned were Shimea, son of Hashub, son of Azrakim, son of Hashabiah, a descendant of Merari. Bakbakar, Harish, Galel, Mataniah, son of Micah, son of Zikri, son of Asaph, 
Obadiah, son of Shimea, son of Galil, son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah, son of Asa, son of Elkanah, who lived in the area of Netopha. The gatekeepers who returned were Shalom, Achab, Talman, Ahiman, and their relatives. Shalom was the chief gatekeeper. Prior to this time, they were responsible for the king's gate on the east side. These men served as gatekeepers for the camps of the Levites. Shalom was the son of Kor, a descendant of Abiaseph from the clan of Korah. He and his relatives, the Korahites, were responsible for guarding the entrance to the sanctuary, just as their ancestors had guarded the tabernacle in the camp of the Lord. Phinehas, son of Eleazar, had been in charge of the gatekeepers in earlier times, and the Lord had been with him. And later, Zechariah, son of Meshelamiah, was responsible for guarding the entrance to the tabernacle. In all, there were 212 gatekeepers in those days, and they were listed according to the genealogies in their villages. David and Samuel, the seer, had appointed their ancestors because they were reliable men. These gatekeepers and their descendants by their divisions were responsible for guarding the entrance to the house of the Lord when that house was a tent. The gatekeepers were stationed on all four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their relatives in the villages came regularly to share their duties for seven-day periods. The four chief gatekeepers, all Levites, were trusted officials, for they were responsible for the rooms and treasuries at the house of God. They would spend the night around the house of God since it was their duty to guard it and to open the gates every morning. Some of the gatekeepers were assigned to care for the various articles used in worship. They checked them in and out to avoid any loss. Others were responsible for the furnishings, the items in the sanctuary, and the supplies, such as choice flour, wine, olive oil, frankincense, and spices. But it was the priests who blended the spices. Mattathiah, a Levite, and the oldest son of Shalom the Korahite, was entrusted with baking the bread used in the offerings. And some members of the clan of Kohath were in charge of preparing the bread to be set on the table each Sabbath day. The musicians, all prominent Levites, lived at the temple. They were exempt from other responsibilities, since they were on duty at all hours. All these men lived in Jerusalem. They were the heads of Levite families and were listed as prominent leaders in their genealogical records.